Today we're going to be making hog roast wraps. So let me introduce you to the ingredients. White wheat based wraps. We have a sliced lettuce, that's a romaine lettuce. We have 1.5 kilograms of pork, which is approximately three pounds. Three apples sliced and peeled. We have a cup of chicken stock, which is approximately 200 milliliters. We have one lime sliced and juiced. We have a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of pepper, two teaspoons of oregano, and two teaspoons of ground cumin. So the first thing we need to do is take our pork and cut the string. We can now place this onto a cutting board. And we want to slice this into approximately eight pieces. So the next thing we want to do is add our eight pieces into the bowl. And begin to add our flavor ingredients. So the first thing we want to add is our onion powder. And our salt. Our garlic powder. Our pepper. The oregano. cumin, and give this a bit of a mix. Now the flavouring and the herbs have been suitably mixed. We just want to wash our hands. And at this point, we want to add the pork into the pressure cooker. So using tongs, we can add our eight pieces of pork. We now want to give our stock a bit of a mix and pour our stock directly into the pressure cooker. We now want to add our lime juice and using a trivet and a steamer basket, we can just place the trivet and the steam basket over the top and add our apple. Now I have had this apple cut for a few minutes, so I've added a slight amount of lemon juice or citric acid to the apple to stop the browning process. We now want to place the lid directly over the top, set it to lock and switch off vent. And we want manual for one hour. If you do have the turbo feature, you can press the turbo option and that will take it to 36 minutes, which will increase the pressure and reduce the time it takes to cook. So 
So the pressure cooker has now completed its cooking cycle. All we need to do is simply depressurize. Now once again, if you wish to, we can place the tea towel just over the top. We can now switch off the pressure cooker. So the pot has now depressurized. We can simply remove the lid. As you can see, we now have our apple sauce. I'm just using heat proof gloves to ensure I don't burn my fingers when removing. We just need to add the apple sauce into a bowl. and remove the trivet. Now we now want to take a board, preferably a carving board. This one's got a slight angle and a collection area for the juices. And using a set of tongs, we can begin to remove the pieces. Now for the next part, we just want to shred the pork. Now, if you're not a fan of fat, you can remove the fat and put that straight into the bin. However, I personally prefer fat. I think it adds an extra layer, it adds an extra dimension of flavor, and at the same time, it makes the consistency very, very succulent and very tender. And for the next part, we just want to move the pork into either a casserole tray or a baking tray, ready to serve. So now it's time for the taste test. Apart from maybe adding a couple more apples and a bit more apple sauce into this, I think this is absolutely incredible. The succulence of the pork, the crisp of the lettuce, and the apple sauce is such an amazing combination. With the wrap, it just means you can fit everything all into one and simply take a bite. The meld of flavours is something else, honestly. This is something you definitely have to try. The 
the spices, the cumin, gives a very slight subtle hint of, of spice and a bit of smokiness. The pork and the sweetness of the applesauce with a crunch of the lettuce. Mm. So good. Now, if you wish to, there are a couple of other complimentary sauces I might suggest. One is hoisin sauce. Adding the sweetness of hoisin will make a huge difference to the flavour and it will give you another version of the dish. Alternatively, if you want something cool and refreshing, then satsiki is definitely worth a try. Hope you enjoyed cooking the food as much as I've enjoyed cooking the food, and I hope you'll enjoy eating the food as much as I'm enjoying eating the food. If you like what you've seen today, simply subscribe, and you can get the latest videos as and when they become available. Thanks again, see you in the next one.